19 people are asked how many miles do you commute to work each day? We recorded the data here. We're going to make a frequency table and answer some questions about the data. First, let's notice that we don't have data values that range between 0 and 20. There's a lot of missing numbers there. Let's only list the data values that actually appear in our data set. Now let's go through and count the frequencies for each data value. And just to be extra sure that we didn't make a mistake here, let's make sure that the sum in our frequency column adds to match the total number of people who were surveyed. We know 19 people were surveyed, so our frequency total should add to 19. Quickly adding those numbers up, we are able to confirm that we get the correct total of 19 in our frequency column. Next, we can build our relative frequency. Remember that we're going to use our total for the number of surveyed people, 19, as the denominator in our relative frequency fraction, and the frequency for each data value as the numerator. And again, we should check that the total in our relative frequency adds to 1. Quickly adding all of those fractions, we're able to find that we get 19 over 19, which is the same thing as 1. Lastly, let's fill out our cumulative relative frequency column. Again, that's where we're accumulating the relative frequencies as we're moving down. And we can make sure that we've completed that column correctly by ensuring that the very last entry for the last row in that cumulative relative frequency column is equal to 1. 19 over 19. Okay, we have our table complete. Now we're ready to answer some questions. What percent of people surveyed commute three miles? We're looking for percent, which means we're looking at a relative frequency. Now it's only asking for those who commuted exactly three miles, so we just need to read the relative frequency for the data value 3. That's 1 over 19. Now that's not a percentage. We're going to convert that into a percent. You can just pull up a, any calculator, type in 1 divided by 19. That will give you a decimal. We're going to need to round here, and our general rounding rules is always go twice as many place values as your original data. Our original data is whole numbers. So we're going to stop at the whole number point for our data, but when we do calculations, we should keep at least twice that many decimal places, so we're going to take it out to the tenths place. So when I do 1 divided by 19, I get a, a decimal version. I'm going to multiply that by 100 to make it a percent, and that's about 5.3%. So 5.3% of people surveyed commute 3 miles. Next we're asked what fraction of the people surveyed commute 5 or 7 miles. 5 or 7 is saying that we're going to combine the fractions from the 5 row and the 7 row. So we're going to just add those fractions together. 3 over 19 for 5 miles, 2 over 19 for 7 miles. When we combine those, we get 5 over 19. This question is asking us for our answer to be in fraction form, so we will leave it as 5 over 19. What fraction of the people surveyed commute 12 miles or more? 12 miles or more, we're going to look at our 12 or more would be the rest of these guys. So we're going to add the fractions that correspond to those data values. 
Or we can use that complement idea where we assume we're considering all of the data, but that we want to leave out everything that's too small. So we could take 19 over 19, that's 100% of the data, and subtract the 12 over 19, and we would see that the fraction of people left would be 7 over 19. So 12 miles or more would be 7 over 19. If we were to look at less than 12 miles, we have to pay very close attention to the wording there. Less than 12 miles does not include 12. So less than is all of these numbers. So two miles all the way up to 10. There was nobody who commuted 11 miles, so we would leave 11 out of this. Less than 12 miles, we can just look at the cumulative relative frequency. Again, we're asking for a fraction here, so we can copy that over. So less than 12 miles, there were 12 out of 19 who commute less than 12 miles. Lastly, we're asked to find the fraction of people surveyed who commute between 5 and 13 miles, not including 5 and 13. So from 5 to 13, that would include all of these rows. But the part that's in parentheses that says do not include 5, do not include 13, that tells us we're actually just looking at the people who commute 7, 10, or 12 miles. So we're just going to add those fractions here. So we have 2 plus 3 plus 2, that would be 7. And that's it.